good morning and welcome to another beautiful day here at Walt Disney World. It's gorgeous out today. It is humid. It is humid, but still beautiful. Did you know that it's already fall? I had no idea. Then I saw Lenny Kravitz yesterday reminding us that it was and um, I don't know, that got me excited. I love fall. Of course, that's not to say that it isn't still hot and humid here in Florida. It's Florida, so it's almost always hot and humid. There are some exceptions though. We'll talk about it when we get there, but I'm not gonna rush this. I love these cool mornings, warm afternoons. I'm digging it. Anyway, today, as you might be able to guess, we are here at the Polynesian, but this isn't our only stop. We're gonna spend the day wandering around these monorail resorts, maybe trying some snacks, maybe doing a little bit of shopping. I think it's gonna be a good day. And we're starting here at the Poly. Now the Polynesian is one of our favorite resorts here at Walt Disney World because it is such a complete package. The theming is amazing, the location is pretty great, and they've got some good food here too, which we will be checking out. The Polynesian also has Disney Vacation Club villas which are actually at the other side of the resort, including these bungalows as well. And they're also building more villas right there in front of you, that big concrete building. So we'll talk more about that here in a bit. Our first order of business is to make our way into the lobby, because that's the heart of this resort, just like any other resort. Feature pools over here, not open quite yet, because it is early. And it's where you're gonna find your dining and shopping which is pretty much why we're here today. So let's go check that out. Air conditioning is nice too. Now the lobby of this resort is absolutely gorgeous. It smells wonderful in here. And it has two levels. So up top there are some shops and then there's a shop down here called Boutique. That's where we're gonna start. Now one of the reasons I wanted to check out the shop today is because I heard that there is some new merchandise in here. So let's wander around and see if we can find it. Also, yes, I know, shopping again, but what can I do? New merch is just popping up all over the place. Now this resort has a lot of different stuff, including stuff from Tommy Bahama, like this, and stuff from Roxy, like this. So there's a lot of stuff around. It's always kind of rotating out. Billabong. Wow, they have that too. It's a cute bag. But we're not here to look at this stuff. What we want to look at is resort-specific merchandise. So let's see what we can find. Oh, check this out though. I know this isn't resort specific, but this is Disney. This spirit jersey hoodie. I love this. This is what it looks like on the back. This Walt Disney World. Three colors now. One, two, and this color. Oh my goodness, looks so good. This is $69.99. Really cute though. Now this resort is also a Disney Vacation Club resort and so you will find Disney Vacation Club specific merchandise here like these ears. You will need to be a Disney Vacation Club member in order to purchase these. I think they're super cute though. They also have some other Disney Vacation Club merch here as well. So this spirit jersey and this lounge fly. Okay, so this is some of the new stuff, I think. Check out this lounge fly, really cute. I love the handle, look at that handle. And this one is $78. Then we have this hoodie here, or this crew neck sweatshirt, I should say. It was Polynesian on the front and on the back says Aloha. This one is $59.99. It is so, so soft. I love that. There are some more new items over here as well. This one right here is $18.99 and it looks like it has Maui's hook. And they also have this over here for $11.99. This dish is also super cute. Look, it looks like a Dole Whip and does have a cover and there's a spoon in there as well. Maybe you can make yourself some Dole Whips at home and enjoy them. Keep the magic of your vacation alive. We also have this. How much is this? I see a price on this one. Oh, it's on the side. $22.99 for this, and then $29.99 on that. Oh look, it even says Polynesian. Sorry, that's upside down, but it says Polynesian on the bottom. It's really cool. Over in the front here, it looks like there are some more new item so we've got this six piece hospitality set which just looks like a chip dip serving tray thing for 99.99 then there is this that's really cute 
looks like a coconut. Don't see any pricing on that. We have this here as well. I'm not sure what that is. I mean, you can use this for whatever, right? You know, be creative. We also have a new cup. We have this here as well. I wonder if that lights up. It looks like it does. And then there are these salt and pepper shakers, which I think are adorable. And is this a, oh, it's a little vase. That's cute. How much is this one? $36.99. And then of course we have this little coconut as well. This one is $29.99. It's got the little lid there so you can put your drink in. Super cute stuff here at the Poly. Okay, so I just wandered over here and it looks like everything is boxed up and the prices are listed. So let's take a look. So we have the pineapple Polynesian mug for $34.99. I think that up there is the mug that we're talking about. And then here's the 50th anniversary salt and pepper shaker. So these are not the same as the ones that we saw over there. But don't worry, because right over here for $29.99 are those salt and pepper shakers we saw up front. Here is that coconut. Oh, so this is a mug. That's what it says. This is supposed to be a mug. Don't see the price on that. But do we see it over there? Yes, $36.99. And then we have a tiki lamp, $2.99 for that. Now, do you remember how I said that there was a second floor? We're up there now. We're right in front of the Moana Mercantile. We're gonna go check that out. But before we do, take a look around. This lobby is beautiful. This is such a wonderful view of this lobby. You have to come up here, even if you're just wandering through. There are also a lot of great reasons to be up here. So right in front of you, you have Ohana. That is a table service dining option. Then we have Kona Cafe over this direction. They have table service, but also you can mobile order from this location. And then right over here, we have a coffee bar with some pastries. And if we take one more turn this direction, we do have the monorail. Now we're gonna be jumping on the monorail here in a bit, but like I said, let's pop into the Moana Mercantile, see what they have, and see if there's anything new. Now, they have two sides to this. So over here, we have where you'll find groceries, and then on this side is where you'll find souvenirs and other stuff. Mostly necessities up here, not as many souvenirs, but we'll still take a look and see what they have. So of course we have snacks and coffee. You'll find drinks and other ingredients. We got bacon and eggs down there. If you're wondering on the price, bacon is $14.99, eggs are $4.99. You'll also find some frozen foods in here. And then there are some sundries. So if you need anything like Bengay, Preparation H, deodorant, shaving cream, medicines, Zyrtec, Gas-X, Pepto-Bismol, earplugs, food and hygiene products, batteries. They have pretty much everything you could need right here at the resort without having to go anywhere. Now over here on this side is where we're going to find our souvenirs and a lot of them are pretty practical. So for example, we can find pretty much a full change of clothes over here for little ones, including underwear and shoes. There are games which are great to purchase if you happen to be here during hurricane season or during the summer when it gets stormy. If you can't be at the parks and you want to keep the kids entertained, this can be a good purchase. Of course, things like bubble wands and other toys, coloring books, autograph books. We have some swimsuits over here, other swim accessories as well. So lots of stuff, not necessarily anything that is new or that we haven't seen before, but pretty much anything that you could need while you're here. Now we're gonna make our way on the monorail to the next resort, which is the Grand Floridian. We do have to go through security, so we're gonna do that and then we'll jump right on. All right, the monorail's here. Let's jump on and make our way to the Grand Floridian. are at the Grand Floridian. Oh my goodness, it smells so good in here. Let's take a look. Wow. So beautiful in here. Now, there's a lot to see at the Grand Floridian. There's a lot to do at the Grand Floridian. I want to talk about some of it here in a second. But before I do, I have to tell you that I had the most wonderful interaction with some cast members today. As some of you know, I am a Disney Vacation Club member. I had some questions about my membership, and so when I was at the Polynesian, I stopped over at the Disney Vacation Club sales like kiosk, and there were two wonderful ladies over there who not only helped me out and got me the answers that I was looking for, which 
is amazing. It's always wonderful when people can help you out and get you the answers that you're looking for without having to jump through hoops, you know? But I also sat there and talked for a little bit with them and they were both so wonderful. One was actually from not too far from my hometown, which was so great to find out, like small world, right? And so that was just such a great way to really start my tour around the monorail resorts today. I also happened to have my bag checked by another great cast member who had some fantastic jokes. And I don't know, maybe I'll save those for another day. But for now, I do want to show you around this resort. We're going to jump in the elevator, head down to the first floor, and then we'll come back to the second because that's where the monorail is located. So let's make our way down. I also want to check the quick service here and see if they have anything for Latin America Heritage Month. Forgive me if I got that one wrong. They didn't have anything at the Poly, so let's see if they have anything here. Goodness, it just took way long to get down one story. I don't know though, I've been having some sketchy experiences with elevators recently so maybe it's all in my head but it just it felt like we were in there for a while this lobby is absolutely beautiful but in order to check the quick service we actually have to kind of leave this building so that's what we're going to do real quick and then we will come back we don't have to go far though just kind of exit here go around the corner and then make our way back all right so there's definitely construction happening right now what we want to do is actually just go right over that way but clearly we can't today so we're gonna go this way see what the walk around looks like so it looks like there's a lot of construction happening how are we supposed to get in you have to walk all the way around the building ah there we go i see the entrance right there very very glamorous very relaxing here at the grand floridian right now Check the thing out on the menu. I didn't see too much, but I did spot this. So we're gonna give it a try. See what we think. I honestly don't even know what exactly it is, but we're winging it. So let's do it. So as it turns out, this is a skeleton bone eclair. Kind of does look like a skeleton bone, right? All right, let's try it. My goal is to do this in as graceful a way as possible, but I'm not making any promises. First, let's try this chocolate piece. Can I get it off? Oh no, I can't. Oh no, I can feel a mess in my future. There are cookie crumbs at the bottom of this eclair. Can you see them? It's kind of hard. All right, let's try. That is so good. Okay, that's really good. That was so good. You know, I grabbed it not knowing exactly what it was, but as soon as I saw it was an eclair, I was like, mm, eclairs are all right. Sometimes they're great. Sometimes they're kind of average. Not this eclair. This eclair was so good. It had, oh, I know the name of it in my head, but it's like, I can't get it out, but it's like that, that caramel colored, cream that you find in a lot of like Mexican and Latin American desserts. Hey cat of the future, do me a favor and search that and then uh, pop it in here so that they know what we're talking about. So good. Anyway, we're gonna make our way back to the lobby now. I'll tell you what, the construction happening at this resort it makes it kind of miserable here, at least in the main lobby area. That's just my opinion. Share your thoughts though. Um, but yeah, let's make our way back to the lobby. All right, we're back in the lobby now, and I'm gonna duck into Shady Cove, Sandy Cove. This is gonna be that shop that has all those essentials that you're looking for. Well, like I said, I'll just show you. So there should be some snacks in here, and then some basic souvenirs, and then all of your sundries, all that stuff you need, Tylenol, Halls, diaper ash cream, Pedialyte, sunscreen, and then of course we have some groceries because like I said, this is almost like a convenience store. Frozen foods and whatnot. So it's basically the same selection you'll find pretty much everywhere, but it's here as well. So of course they have other random souvenirs in there as well, and they also have your Disney Vacation Club merchandise in there. So your spirit jerseys, lounge flies, all that good stuff. We're making our way this direction, but first, check out this chocolate sculpture of Cinderella Castle. Isn't it beautiful? It says this chocolate sculpture is hand decorated by the Grand Floridian Bakery. Gorgeous. 
You know, you can find stuff like this here at the Grand Floridian all year round, but especially during major holidays. So Easter, there are gonna be Easter eggs. And then during Christmas, there's the big gingerbread house. You have to come over here if you're interested in that kind of thing. And even if you're not, you just wanna wander around. It's definitely fun to just see what they've done. And it's really impressive too. Speaking of impressive, I just noticed that the wallpaper has the Grand Floridian logo over here. That's pretty cool. But next, let's make our way into this clothing store. Let's take a look at what they got. Of course, we do have some Grand Floridian specific merchandise. That's really cute. $59.99 for that. And this is a wine glass from the Enchanted Rose upstairs. We'll take a look at that when we make our way back upstairs. Of course, we have some Grand Floridian bags and a wide assortment of clothes. You can definitely pick something up here if you're planning on doing like a nice dinner out and you forgot to pack something or you ran into a problem with something that you did pack. Now, of course, there are also men's clothes here as well. So if you need something because you are planning on that fancy dinner again, or maybe you're going golfing and you need to be in your fanciest golf attire, you can come and pick that up here. Now, of course, that's not necessarily gonna be your most affordable clothing option, but if you have something special going on, which you might if you're here at this resort, there are weddings that happen over here. One of the most expensive dinners on Walt Disney World property, if not the most expensive dinner on Walt Disney World property, is at this resort. So if you need to meet that dress code or anything like that, you know you can get it here. Of course, if you want to make your way out to one of the outlets, there are plenty of them in the area but that's a conversation for another day. I'm talking about those of you who just wanna grab something while you're here at this resort. It is just so gorgeous. I could sit here all day and look at just the wonderful detail. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that just lovely? I feel like that's a level of detail that we're losing here at Disney. But you know what? There's always time to turn things around. So see if Disney can do it. And we're gonna head up these stairs, but first I wanna wander back here because I have seen a chocolate sculpture back here. I'm wondering if it's still here. Yes, it is. Look at how gorgeous. The detail is unbelievable. Absolutely beautiful. All right, we're making our way up these stairs back to the second floor. There are a few shops we wanna check out up here on the second floor. But the monorail's also up here, and that's what we're gonna catch to make our way to our next location. So we'll see what we can find, and then we will move on. Now I found myself a nice, quiet spot to sit down for a second. And while I do, I wanna to talk to you about two of the dining options that are available here on the second floor. Well, I suppose one is a dining option, and one is a lounge. So right behind me, we have the Enchanted Rose, and this is a lounge that is Beauty and the Beast themed. When this opened up, I feel like so many people talked about it, but then it kind of fell out of favor. People didn't talk about it all that often, and I don't hear people talking about it anymore either. Now, I haven't been to this lounge yet. It's been on my list of things to do, but we just haven't made our way out here in order to enjoy it. So I suppose, we should prioritize that, maybe put it on the list. To be completely honest with you, I don't even know what the menu looks like. So let's take a second, pull up the My Disney Experience app and see if we can find out. So here we are in the app, as you can see, Enchanted Rose. And by the way, if you're not using the My Disney Experience app, you should be, especially if you're trying to check out menus for different dining establishments around Walt Disney World. It's really useful, it is clunky, sometimes it does not work right, but it still can be useful, especially if you're patient. Let's click on the menu and see what is available. So we have some snacks, house-made beef jerky, olives, mixed nuts, charcuterie, cheeses. Lots to choose from, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Even some fancy options like caviar. Would you try something for the first time if it was $115? I feel like it depends. Then again, someone who's ordering that probably likes caviar and knows that they like it. Tell me your thoughts. Have you ever tried it? And do you like it? Put it in the comments. Then of course we have the featured cocktails. Prices look about right when it comes to ordering alcoholic beverages, cocktails, whatnot, here at Walt Disney World. Let's see if they have any non-alcoholic options. Of course we haven't gotten there yet. We've got the martinis, beer, champagne, wine, more wine, 
then we have beverages without alcohol. There are a few there, including coffee. I do like when lounges like this offer non-alcoholic options, although I would like to see a wider selection. There are so many great mocktail recipes out there that can have someone who doesn't enjoy alcohol or who isn't old enough to drink enjoying something special and fancy. And I would love to see that here at Walt Disney World. There just isn't enough of it, at least not in my opinion. But like I said, that is the Enchanted Rose. And if we swing this way, it's kind of hard to see, but right there in the middle of your screen, is Victoria and Albert's. Now Victoria and Albert's is an option that you may have heard about before probably because of its price point and its style of dining. It is a multi-course dining experience, there is a dress code, and it is hundreds of dollars per head in order to enjoy that dining experience, which is admittedly not for everyone. Now I would absolutely love to eat at Victoria and Albert's and it is on our list, but honestly it's kind of been pushed to the back burner because there are so many other great dining experiences that we've wanted to do. Also a lot of them much more affordable than Victoria and Albert's, but it's definitely something we're interested in. Maybe we'll do that one of these days. Now there are of course more shops available here on the second floor. There's also a Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, but I don't know if this one has reopened yet. I don't believe so. No, that sign doesn't give me a lot of confidence. We do have the basin, which has soaps and lotions. And then over here is the mercantile, which is where we're headed next. Now M Mouse Mercantile, which is what this is called, is gonna have all of your souvenirs and various Disney merchandise. But like I said, all of the supplies that you might need, snacks and stuff, that's gonna be downstairs. But we'll still take a stroll through here, show you what they have. They have a pretty good selection, although some of the stuff tends to be a little bit out of date. Older stuff just to fill shelves, like the Pride t-shirts. Oh, check this out. So cute. This looks new, $69.99. It's a Christmas set. How cool is that? I love this set of dolls and accessories. It's really cool. Um, I don't know if any of you have kids who are into that, but I do think that it's awesome, especially because they have matching outfits so you can match your doll. Isn't that cool? So like I said, a selection of different merchandise in there. I did notice that this gift shop did have a lot of merchandise from previous seasons, you know? So lots of that summertime merch here and then some of the Pride merch, but it did have some new stuff as well. So make sure you come here and check not only for the stuff you're looking for that's out in the parks now, but maybe some stuff you missed. All right, it's that time again, making our way back onto the monorail. The monorail's here, now it's time to make our way on. We do have a couple stops before we get off again. Well, I say a couple, we're stopping at Magic Kingdom first, but we're not gonna get off. Here at the Contemporary, there are a few things that I want to check out. There are three separate shops here at the Contemporary. We are on kind of the main level. The lobby is below us. We're not going to go down there because there's no need for us to go to the front desk or anything today. And Steakhouse 71 is below us as well, but we're not eating there today. Although, I would love to eat there. We've got some burgers that people say are the best on property but we've got other snacks that we want to try and it's not quite lunchtime yet and we don't have a reservation. So there's a lot of things going against us with Steakhouse 71, but that's all right. Plenty of other stuff to see and do. But first we're gonna pop into the shop that's right behind us. You know how we've been looking at all of these like convenience store type shops? That's right there. And then there are two additional shops here. There's one kind of in the middle with some souvenirs and then one with a lot of stuff, especially resort specific stuff. So we're gonna look at both first to that convenience store. Also, Contemporary supposedly has a great fireworks view. Probably not from right here, but there are benches out there so you can go sit and watch the fireworks. Oh yeah, and the monorail goes straight through the Contemporary as well, which, I mean, how cool is that? Now, I haven't seen the fireworks from here yet, although I suppose I should put it on the list and check it out for you guys. And when it comes to the monorail going through the building, one of my favorite things is to ride the monorail when going through this building, especially during busy times of year, because people who have never experienced this before 
they just have such a great reaction when the monorail goes through the building. So anyway, back on track. We're headed into Fantasia Market. Looks like we have some trivia here. Hmm. Can you answer any of these questions? So there are some miscellaneous souvenirs and snacks in here. And again, we do have our selection of foods, hot dogs, drinks, ice cream, frozen foods as well. And then we have all of our dry goods over here. And again, our sundries with floss, Benadryl, toothpaste, Q-tips, pull-ups, little swimmers, pacifiers, bottles. Now the discussion of cost always comes up whenever I show stuff from these shops because the price is of course a lot more than you would pay if you were buying it off property at a Walmart or Target or even if you were ordering off Amazon. However, I do think it's important to note that it is available. You know, sometimes you just need one thing and while it might be more expensive if you buy it here, it's gonna be more affordable than if you walked into a pole there. Let's take a step this way. It's gonna be more affordable than if you were to have to pay for a ride share or rent a car or anything like that. So just keep that in mind and know it's here and available to you. But next, let's duck in here. Now this isn't a really big store. It's just a few things, but let's see what they've got. Seems like there are a lot of plushies in this store and toys. So of course we have munchlings over there and over here, the munchling throw, which is absolutely adorable by the way. Then we have the coffee munchling. Maybe we should get a coffee. Oh, I could go for a coffee. Hmm, got some avatar plushies. See what I mean when I say that there's some like misplaced stuff in these stores sometimes? But you know, it is good. Maybe you didn't get a chance to pick it up when you were at Pandora. You wanna grab it now. Have some new emos available here, including their outfits, which by the way, it says, Outfits and accessories are $7 each when you buy three. Got some dolls over here. And then if we swing this way, we have even more plushies, including the baby plushies. Aren't they so cute? Of course, we now have toys and pins in here as well. So a pretty wide selection of stuff. Now across the way at BBG or Buena Vista Gifts, this is where things get interesting because they got some good stuff in here. So let's pop in and see what we can find. One thing I'm noticing here at this gift shop that we have seen kind of at other gift shops, but especially here, are these adult women swimsuits. Now, we've seen a small selection elsewhere, but this is probably the biggest selection that I have seen since we've started wandering around. They also have some more modest options. This is also swimsuit material. I don't know if you can tell. So if you're looking for something, you're here and you need something. By the way, bigger sizes here. We've got 2X shorts with the skirt attached. How much is this? $29.99. This might be a good place to check out especially if you have forgotten your swimsuit at home you know things happen also some swim trunks as well just two different kinds but you know having a wider variety of women's swimsuits tend to be better it looks like we do have some new contemporary stuff as well including this really cute dress check it out has the Incredibles on it. That's really cute. The price is $79.99. The only thing about this dress is it feels like t-shirt material, which is gonna be really lightweight and really comfortable, but I feel like it's gonna fade in the wash. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, but I do feel like $79.99 isn't bad if it was a bit of a better material. I guess only time will tell though. Got some new bags and mugs over here as well. This bag is super cute. It's a lounge fly. It says the contemporary and it has the Incredibles. This is the same artwork that you can find here at the resort, which I think is really nice. Let's see what the price is. $75. It's really cute, right? And then we have the mug, which is very similar. But the difference is this mug has a monorail handle. Let me show you. How cool is that? Super.
super cute. All right, let's see what else we can spot as we wander through. Looks like we have some of the Disney Decades collection. We took a look at this the other day, so we're not gonna really dig into it, but it's cool to see it here. Oh, here's that magic band though that we didn't get a good look at last time we saw it. It's super cute. My only trouble with these magic bands is that the price is so high. These don't have a price on the actual package, but I want to say they're like $64, which is a lot. I also am so curious about this. What is going on with that? I am so curious. I want to know. Now, this is something I haven't seen before, at least not at one of the resorts. It looks like they have some different... What would you call these? Statues? They're beautiful. And we have castles over here. Walt Disney World, Tokyo Disneyland, and Disneyland Paris. Check it out. Did you know that they had suites here in this shop? I had no idea. I had no idea. But we need to head out because it's time for another snack. And I've got my eye on something from Contempo Cafe. So let's go see if we can find it. Now they have a lot of great options. It's currently breakfast time. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I so want that. But got our eye on something in particular. Let's keep an eye out for it, see if we can find it. Well, I'm looking and it seems like we may be out of luck. Now they do have some cute dessert options, but not the options we're looking for. And so that means it's time to make our way out. So back up so we can get on the monorail. And so we're taking the world's smallest escalator back onto the monorail. Let's go. Let's jump on, make our way back to the TTC. Nothing like an air-conditioned monorail. And that about does it for our tour of the Magic Kingdom area resorts today. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't have the snack that I was looking for at Contempo Cafe. And you know what? That led me to not even get a coffee. I wasn't even thinking about it. Completely got distracted. Got on the monorail and now here we are at the TTC. Anyway, I hope you had fun joining us for this little adventure today. I had a good time sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Of course, if you wanna join us for that, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss it. Like this video if you liked this. And don't forget to answer those trivia questions in the comments down below. Can you get the answer to all of them? But like I said, that's all for now. Thanks so much for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.